Have you ever wondered how the powerful device you carry around with you, your laptop, came into existence? The story begins in the mid-20th century, an era remembered as the dawn of the digital age. In those times, the precursors to our sleek portable laptops were the towering mainframe computers of the 1940s and 1950s. These early computers were colossal, room-filling machines that cost a fortune. They were often as large as a refrigerator, if not bigger, and could only be afforded by large corporations or government institutions. Their functionality was limited, and they were far from the user-friendly devices we know today. In fact, these machines were so complex that operating them required specialized training. Yet, despite their size and complexity, these mainframe computers were revolutionary. They were the first to use electronic digital processing, marking a significant milestone in technological advancement. These behemoth machines set the stage for the first inklings of personal computing. The 70s and 80s witnessed a pivotal shift towards portability in computing. It was an era marked by a new wave of innovation, where the idea of taking your computer with you wasn't just a dream anymore, it was becoming a reality. The first major breakthrough came in the form of the Osborne One in 1981. This portable computer, if you can imagine, was about the size of a suitcase. It weighed a whopping 24 pounds. Yes, you heard that right. And came with a tiny 5-inch screen. Despite its size and weight, it was a marvel of its time. It boasted a whopping 64 kilobytes of memory and two floppy disk drives. The Osborne One was a complete portable office, including a suite of software worth over $1,500 at no extra cost. Just three years later, in 1984, IBM introduced the 5155 Portable Personal Computer. Still quite hefty at 30 pounds, it was a step forward in terms of portability. It featured a 9-inch monochrome monitor, a 5.25-inch floppy drive, and a keyboard that snapped onto the front, creating a relatively compact, self-contained unit. While today these machines might seem archaic and cumbersome, they were nothing short of revolutionary at the time. They represented a significant shift in how people thought about and used computers. The idea that computing power could be condensed into a portable format was a game-changer. It laid the groundwork for the development of smaller, lighter and more powerful machines. These early portable computers, the Osborne One and the IBM 5155, were the forefathers of the sleek, lightweight laptops that we have today. Each one, with its own unique set of features and limitations, contributed to a larger narrative of innovation and progress. These early portable computers paved the way for the more advanced and compact laptops we use today. They were the first steps towards computing freedom, enabling us to take our digital lives wherever we go, and their influence can still be felt in every laptop we use today. The 1990s was a transformative decade for laptop technology. As we turned the pages of the calendar, we also turned the pages of an exciting new chapter in the story of portable computing. The 90s were a time when laptops began to take on the shape and functionality that we recognize today. One of the game changers of this era was the creation of the PowerBook by Apple. Launched in the early 90s, the PowerBook was more than just a portable computer. It was a design revolution. Its trackball and keyboard layout, with the pointing device in front and the keyboard set back, set the standard for all modern laptops. The PowerBook was also the first laptop to use a built-in Ethernet network adapter, a feature we now take for granted. But the PowerBook wasn't the only innovation of the 90s. This decade also witnessed the advent of color screens, where once we were limited to monochrome displays, now vibrant colors brought our screens to life. This not only improved the user experience, but also opened up new possibilities for graphic design and multimedia applications. And let's not forget about the strides made in processing power during this time. The 90s saw laptops becoming increasingly capable of handling complex tasks. As processors became more powerful, laptops started to rival desktop computers in terms of performance. This meant that users could perform high-level computing tasks on the go, a concept that was previously unthinkable. Finally, the introduction of Wi-Fi capabilities towards the end of the 90s was a significant leap forward. This breakthrough meant that laptops could connect to the internet wirelessly, liberating them from the constraints of wired connections. With Wi-Fi, the laptop truly became a mobile device, freeing us to work, learn and play from virtually anywhere. And so, as the 90s came to a close, we were left with a blueprint for the future.
a blueprint that was to shape the next generation of laptops and indeed the future of computing. The 90s laid the groundwork for the laptops we are familiar with today. The new millennium brought with it a new breed of laptops, the netbooks. As the calendar pages turned to the year 2000, the world was introduced to these compact, budget-friendly machines, marking a significant shift in the realm of personal computing. Netbooks were designed with simplicity and portability in mind. These tiny titans were typically less than 10 inches in size, a far cry from the bulkier laptops of the past. The smaller size, coupled with a lightweight design, made netbooks perfect for on-the-go computing. They were the ideal companions for travelers, students, and anyone else who needed to take their work with them, without the extra weight. But what really set netbooks apart was their affordability. Lower in cost than traditional laptops, they made computing accessible to a wider audience. This democratization of technology was a game-changer, allowing more people to participate in the digital age. However, it wasn't just about size and price. Netbooks ushered in a new era of internet-based computing. They were optimized for web browsing and basic productivity tasks, emphasizing the importance of the internet in everyday computing. This shift marked a significant step towards the cloud-based systems we see today. But like all good things, the reign of netbooks came to an end. The rise of smartphones and tablets in the late 2000s played a significant role in their decline. These new devices offered similar portability and internet connectivity, but with added functionality and sleeker designs. The netbook, once the darling of the tech world, was soon outshone and overshadowed. While netbooks may have been short-lived, they represented a significant shift towards mobility and affordability in personal computing. They were the stepping stones to the ultra-portable, highly efficient devices we use today. And though they may no longer be the stars of the show, their impact on the landscape of personal computing is undeniable. From behemoth mainframes to sleek and lightweight devices, laptops have come a long way. Our digital journey has now landed us in an era of ultrabooks, two-in-one laptops, and gaming laptops, each pushing the boundaries of what we thought possible in a portable device. Ultrabooks, for instance, embody the spirit of the modern era. They are lightweight yet powerful. They are thin yet robust. They are compact, yet capable of running demanding applications with ease. It's as if we've managed to pack an entire workstation into a device that fits snugly into your backpack. Then we have the two-in-one laptops, a testament to the versatility that we now demand from our devices. With the ability to transform from a traditional laptop into a tablet, they're blurring the lines between different types of devices and adapting to our changing needs. For the gaming enthusiasts, gaming laptops have become a beacon of light. They've taken the power of a desktop gaming rig and condensed it into a portable form. High-resolution displays, powerful graphics cards and advanced cooling systems are just some of the features that have made this possible. The driving force behind these advancements is, of course, technology itself. Solid-state drives have made data access faster than ever. High-resolution displays have turned our screens into windows to vivid digital worlds. And touch interfaces have made interaction with our devices more intuitive and natural. But where are we heading next? The future of laptops is shrouded in exciting possibilities. We're already seeing hints of artificial intelligence integration, making our devices smarter and more responsive. Virtual reality could turn our laptops into gateways to entirely new dimensions. And who knows what else is on the horizon? As we look to the future, one thing is certain. The evolution of laptops is far from over. In just a few decades, laptops have transformed from a novelty to a necessity. Portable computing, once a concept of science fiction, leaped into reality with the birth of the first laptop. Bulky and rudimentary, they were nonetheless a breakthrough, a promise of what was to come. This promise was fulfilled in leaps and bounds. Each decade brought forth significant leaps in technology. The turn of the millennium saw the rise of netbooks, compact and affordable, opening doors to a wider audience. Today we find ourselves in an era where laptops are sleek, powerful and indispensable. They are our workstations, our entertainment centers, our connection to the world. And the evolution continues, driven by our relentless pursuit of convenience and efficiency. So here we are, in an age where the laptop is no longer a luxury, but a companion in our daily lives. The journey of the laptop is a testament to human innovation and our relentless pursuit of convenience and efficiency.